Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to FTL Faster Than Light. New run after the last run, because I want to keep playing this wonderful game. Random, Man of War. Okay, interesting. Slug A-type, I do believe, yep. We have an anti-bio beam, so we can kill crew. A breaching bomb, so we can like take out med bays. Dual lasers, which are pretty okay. Two slug crew members, three weapon power, shields, and like nothing else. This is a very awkward ship, but at least it's not the Stormwalker. Oh God, the Stormwalker is trash. Actually, Areola Max. Areola Max is trash, but at least you have two more systems in comparison to the other two. Stormwalker doesn't even have, well, okay, it has an Artemis, but it has healing bombs, no med bay or clone bay. It's so weird. But Man of War, Man of War is gonna be a weird one. Debbie, Debbie, you can be GT Quark. Quark, you're now a Debbie. <laughs> Do you like Debbies? And Adrian, you can be... I gotta spell it right. There we go. Seafish, who, I don't know if they're here still, but if they are, there you go. You're Seafish. Um, Man of War. Antibio beam breaching, dual laser. Let's start. I... I think this will be an okay run. We need shields early. We can very easily kill crew, which is nice. We'll see, we'll see. Um, Disease, ignore the request. Never send your crew down to disease unless you have a blue, a blue option. Otherwise you're just sacrificing crew members for no reason, so. That's an unfortunate first jump, but that's okay. Uh, that's an unfortunate second jump, but also, well, okay, I will admit slightly less okay. Hey, combat. Oh, beautiful. Oh my lord. They have a triple shot missile, a bomb, and a Zoltan super shield? What is this ship? This is ridiculous. <laughs> They also have a rock man, which takes another shot from the anti-bio beam. This ship sucks, dude. Okay, our weapons are completely offline. So we'll start getting that repaired. Death fight one, says Brendan Toad. I don't think we're gonna die uh, unless they take out my shields or my engines, but you know, okay, what did I say? Let's finish at least the dual laser. Get the shields powered up. Just start those auto-firing, I guess. <sighs> this is a great first jump. This is a great jump. Oh, hey, there's a fire in the oxygen room. And we have no piloting system anymore, so no dodge chance. Oh, and they started a fire in the piloting room. This is actually a no-fault first jump loss right here. There's no nothing that I can do to stop this from being a loss, I think. We have to put out the fire, and we have to to uh, take out their weapons or something. My crew members are about to die, but if we can get the, uh, if we can get the uh, piloting at least online, we can keep charging the FTL. I've moved the wrong crew members. I wanted to do it like this. Okay, we're still losing here, but we're almost escaping. Oh, hey, by the way, you have no piloting again. The fire has spread to the med bay, which is a little awkward. Um, but they have no weapons. Why do they have no weapons? I don't know, we have to take advantage of this. Get the piloting repaired. Get the fire in the med bay put out. We, ha we have to leave. Just go. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> okay, so it's not a, a first jump death, but it is a first jump, holy crap, get me the hell out of here. Okay. We're gonna attack the sleeper scum. Dare I say it, their ship does not seem that bad. Oh my lord, look at the fire. We have to get the O2 operational. The fire has to get put out everywhere. I'm just gonna wait for the fire to actually go out because I need time in the oxygen room. But their weapons are actually not all that bad, which is ironic, but they're not. They're not all that bad. We just need to keep our crew members from dying <laughs> and get them healed up. Because they, they can't do much damage 
Especially now that their weapons are out of sync. They can do like nothing. So we're just gonna heal up. We're gonna get our weapons online. And then we're gonna kill their crew. They have a med bay, but that's what the breaching, breaching bomb is for. I think we're gonna come back from this. We, we are essentially 12 HP down with nothing uh, for our first several jumps, but oh well. <laughs> We're gonna try to take one of their weapons offline whenever possible. Um, let's let's get healed up. Cause the next shot from them might be able to land. So I would like to get someone in engines. Wow, what kind of dodge chance is this? BS. Okay, well they're, they're gonna hit us. There's nothing we can do. Just finish healing. Okay. Uh their weapons are probably going to be in sync for the next shot too. Okay, having a shield, I don't know if having a shield personnel actually mattered there, but we did take one of their weapons offline. Let's get our weapons online. This is a, uh, a strange <laughs> start, but it is working. It's scary, but it's working. Okay, now engines. That first ship though, holy crap. Firebomb, triple shot laser, Zoltan shield, first combat encounter, absurd. Okay, anti-bio beam is getting charged up. Their weapons are dangerously close to being in sync, so we gotta be very careful about this. We will scrape that anti-bio beam across their ship. Their crew, uh, won't heal until everything is repaired. How did, oh, they have a repair drone. I was like, how did they repair it so quickly? They have a freaking repair drone! I don't even know if I can kill the ship. I can kill the mantis. Oh, I didn't even notice. I did not even notice that. Well, get that repaired. Shields are on fire, by the way. Shields are down, by the way. <laughs> kinda, kinda need our shields to come back online. Weapons are down, so anti-bio beam is down. I, okay, well, I, you know what? Here, we're just gonna kill the ship, because I can't really do anything else, so. Cursed run. <laughs> I hate that every drone ship has repair drones even in sector one. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's essentially gonna make it impossible to kill the crew here. But what we can do now is maybe take out their shields. Then we'll take out their weapons. We'll just keep their crew busy and we're gonna accept Lombard, the crew member. Hello, Lombard. Thank you for joining this cursed ship. Um, holy crap. By the way, Brendan, I hope you enjoyed dying because this is a cursed run and you're now aboard this ship. I didn't, oh no, I did save positions. So you're you're gonna be the shield personnel, I guess. Still haven't picked up any scrap, just to, just to mention. But we're alive, so let's jump around. Holy crap. You know what Brendan said? I want to join the doomed expedition, excellent. It's an easy ship. Hands in the air like I just don't care. <laughs> they can't even hurt me. Why can't this have been my first ship? No upgrade challenge run? Oh my god. What, one bar of shields, two engine, one dual laser? Yeah, that'll work. It's not even worth firing the anti-bio beam. I need another weapon upgrade so I can launch a breaching missile in to keep them busy. Because as is, if I anti-bio beam them, it doesn't matter. They're just going to heal up because I didn't do any hull damage. We need to damage their hull first. But at least they, they literally can't hurt us and we can take our time. <sighs> Brendan gonna turn up with a virtue? <laughs> that would be if he turned up with like max shields or something. I'd be, I'd be very happy about that right now. Okay. Okay, so hopefully that keeps him busy with repairs. He, ha, they have a freaking repair drone. I hate these ships, dude. I can take out the, the human crew member uh, in a moment, but that's it. That's all I can do. 
We should probably go on, on shields, I guess. He moved! <laughs> I thought he would walk to the left space instead of the right space, you freaking dick. Ugh. Could we do this with like a breaching bomb? We could kill one of their crew members, I guess. I missed. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Okay, is there a way that I can kill them with a breaching bomb? No, not really. The anti-bio beam takes too long to power up. And they have a, a good med bay. I can't I can't kill the crew fast enough. This is so bad. <laughs> uh guess we'll just wait for the dual laser to come back online and go for their shields again or something. I don't know. I can see the repair drone. Maybe by going into the shield room it takes the repair drone longer to get there and then maybe I can kill the crew. You think maybe? Because if I can kill the human, that, that puts him behind the eight ball, you know? I got him. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> well, now it's going to be harder for them to do things, I guess. Maybe I can kill both NGs if I hit him with a dual laser shot right now? But they're just gonna repair it super quickly because they're freaking NGs. What if I take out their shields again? No, they're just gonna heal up because they're already in the med bay. They're not gonna change their, their current occupation at all. And the freaking drone is gonna get the shields repaired anyways. There's a fire! We've done it! We've done it! Well, maybe we haven't done it. We gotta stop them. We can't stop them. We gotta wait for the anti-bio beam to get charged up. No! Oh, I tried to push it so close. I hate this ship. I can't do anything. I need that breaching bomb online. Take out the drone control? It doesn't matter. I can't take anything out. If I, if I shoot the drone control, they're not going to depower their repair drone, they're going to depower their combat drone, which isn't doing anything anyway, so hitting their drone control doesn't matter. Hitting their shields at least makes the drone take a long time to move to get to the shield room. And their uh, drone also repairs automatically inside the shield room, so it's like complete trash. You know what's also complete trash? I have to go to the store, so... Well, or this store. I'll go to this store. Oh, man. <laughs> Very glad I, just, I decided to do another run today. Slug repair gel. Goodbye. We will buy fuel and we will buy hull repair. I should have repaired the uh, door system. We will never surrender to slavers. Instead, we will die. Well, at least this is an easy fight in the med bay. They do have a med bay themselves. They also have an annoying ship with the ion stunner beam. Hopefully the ion stunner by bypasses the shields. Uh, it didn't really work the way I wanted it to, but the ion stunner was gonna land first anyways. Awkward. Uh, let's get the shields repaired yesterday. Let's see if we can take out one of their weapons too. We took out the correct weapon at least. Kill the crew member, get the shields repaired. I guess we don't need to get the shields repaired because we, um... We took out their beam, but still like to get it repaired. They took out our, um, anti-bio beam. Uh, take out their shields next. Their shields are still online. Okay, well, I, I could have told you that. At least they don't have a repair drone, so, like, if, if we wanted to, we could probably, uh like breach something, but I think we're actually okay to do this because we can we can keep their their crew busy. Their crew is going to have a hard time getting stuff repaired when it's just the two of them.
And they're dead. Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't believe we actually managed to make that work, but we did. We've done it. We defeated a ship. <laughs> Every ship having a buffer and shield is also fun. Yep, which has happened on every ship that we fought today so far. This has been a miraculous run of FTL. This is also gonna be a very short sector because we can only do three more beacons. <laughs> Kill me now, just stop. This bad RNG is just prepping you for the two Vulcan can cannons you're gonna get later in the run. Oh, hell yeah. Give me the fuel. Ugh. Abe, how much do you think the actual shape of the ship affects how good it is? Uh, well, this ship is awful, so its shape is awful. So, oxygen upgrade or 16 scrap? I'm gonna take the 16 scrap. Now, we won't take as much damage, if you can believe that. Okay. Well, we won't take as much damage, I guess. Um, you know, it, this is actually pretty good. Two bio beams will kill the crew. And we can use dual lasers when their shields are down, I hope. Very, very excellent. Because we can sneak in the anti-bio beam whenever an asteroid hits. Like right now. There's also, a, there was a fire in the room temporarily, so they have very low health. Okay, this fight will be okay. We're gonna lose a little bit of O2 power, but you know, we'll get that back. Okay. No asteroids incoming? Got him. Okay! <laughs> well, we got a new gun. That's a Burst Laser Mark III. Sorry for the chair shuffling. I'm, I'm invested now. This run has turned a 180. <laughs> okay. We got a Burst Laser Mark III. We need to get weapons. Because we need to get this gun online. We also need to leave so we don't suffocate, but we'll work on that. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a very nice get. It's not as good as a Vulcan cannon, but I'll take it. I will also do this so that we can get reactor power for free. Abandoned Sector Zoltan controlled. I'll be honest with you, I really do not want to fight Zoltans. Linus! I'd rather fight Lanius, especially early. Okay, 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 okay. 21 scrap. Let's get the last cheap reactor upgrade. Then should be like 40 scrap, ooh, allies. Should be like 40 scrap for the, uh... yeah. Should be like 40 scrap for the, Weapon upgrade, and we'll hopefully get that soon. It'd be nice for a situation like this, like murder their weapons and keep them offline forever. Because I worry about them hurting me. Oh, their weapons came back online. Ugh, they're gonna hit my weapon system. Yeah, okay, Breach needs to come back. Getting hit once is not the end of the world. We're probably gonna destroy the ship too because of the fact that we have this ASB. Okay, now their weapons are off. So now we'll bring back the, well, we'll bring back the anti beam in a moment. A fire, really? Jerks. What went out? Their engines. I don't even know if we can kill the crew because it's highly likely that the ASB is gonna kill them first, but I'll at least try. <laughs> Should have done it. We're, we're gonna kill the crew or uh, kill the ship, whatever. I'll take it. You know, at this stage, I'll take anything. Should land. There it goes. They have a clone bay. We could take out the clone bay with the dual laser. It's not that big of a problem. Eight hull points repaired. Sorry you got caught up, caught up in that fight, stranger. No matter how many of these monsters we blow out of the sky, they just keep coming. We can patch up your ship for you. All right, all right, all right. I'll take it. I'm not gonna snub my nose at a free eight hole repair. Of 
course we're gonna attack the Lanius. We need scrap. Although the uh, hack and missile launcher is very awkward and annoying. We could kill the crew. Um, let's see what they hack. Piloting, it's not that bad. I think we're gonna do breach first. I, I wanna take out their weapons, then we'll focus on crew, because I wanna breach the room in order to stop them from firing at it, or firing from it. Missed. I'm very glad I did it now, because our uh, weapons are completely down. I can even hear it in the back of my head. Um, give him another breach. There, try to get that repaired now, you dick. Okay. So two bio beams will finish the job. Dun, 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 dun. Worldlander says the Allied ASB event is one of my favorites. It's fun to imagine a planet side battery firing. I mean, that's kind of what you get out of the, uh, out of the rebel event too, you know? The the rebels have ASBs, but it's not really, it's an anti-ship battery, but it's not a planet sh side anti-ship battery. It's a ship side anti-ship battery because they have massive ships that are aiming right for your face. Okay, weapons up. So if we need, well, we can we can get the breaching bomb online, which is gonna help a lot. Okay, so that's good. All right, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Do you have anything that can help with the mission? Sorry, all right, well, jerk. I'm just trying to save the goddamn universe. We, yeah, yeah, we did not fight a war. Dude, I would love it if we could fight ships that don't have missile launchers. This is why on the last run, I, I uh, traded a lot for that early defense drone, because uh, these are starting to kind of suck. Okay, we breached, we took their weapons offline, and uh, now we'll go for some crew. Killed one crew member kind of just immediately, which was nice. So this guy is one, sh one beam away from death. Nope, he decided to go and heal. You know, probably a smart idea, but it's probably not gonna matter. The pilot does need to get hit twice from the anti-bio beam though. Missile launcher online? I don't think so. They're both dead. How did, oh, there was no oxygen, probably, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Possible. 39 scrap. Even if there's a store, I'm pretty sure we can't buy anything, so I'm just gonna go straight for the reactor power. Get that dodge chance up. Like, the only thing I'm gonna be able to buy at a store is hull repair and fuel. Whoa. Alanius Merchant appears to have a significantly improved translator, as you can clearly understand their message. Metal content more than sufficient. Does your ship care to exchange resources for our excess metal? Six missiles for 39 scrap is a lot of scrap early. That's like two, com two or three combats. Six missiles I am using, but I'm not gonna be using the breach forever. And getting the, the scrap now means I can upgrade, like get 5% more dodge chance. I could buy a Lanius, but I don't have the cash. So we're gonna agree to agree to the exchange and upgrade more dodge chance. Which I think is totally fair. Aw, oh, come on. <laughs> Well, it's a good opportunity to use the breaching bomb to take their weapons offline, because this is gonna suck. I am gonna be using a lot of missiles like as we go here, obviously, but can you blame me? I mistimed that, which was slightly unfortunate. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! They have a heavy, heavy laser. Get that out of here! I did not pay attention to the weapon systems that they had operational. And we have no anti-bio beam, which is unfortunate, but we can probably take out their clone bay before they revive. Indeed we did. Then we can just go straight to the anti-bio beam. So I did not need to take that hit. I, well, 
there was no way around it, I guess. Because even the breaching missile didn't do enough damage to take it offline. But we got him at least. 16 scrap, 2 fuel. At least fuel's not going to be a problem for a while. What was it like this? It was like this. We need missile defense at some point. I guess we could get the halberd beam online instead of the burst laser. That might be the next setup. Send the away party to investigate. Quest to the next sector. Seven scrap. That's fine. So yeah, we could use halberd beam instead of burst laser. I like the burst laser though because if 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 we miss with the dual lasers, the halberd can't even do anything. But if we just fire with the burst laser, we can hit eight sh or five shots and then just completely take enemy systems offline. I think it might just be a little bit better for us, at least now. Help, we were trying to escape before the Lanius came only to be caught by pirates. So there is a civilian ship. We're gonna attack the pirates, absolutely. For once, they can't hurt me, which means that we can just focus on killing the crew. <laughs> I can't believe we're alive. <laughs> It is a nice, easy ship. This is a, a great ship if we wanted for training, you know, AFK, go make yourself some dinner, take a shower, go get your groceries, do your laundry, go to the dry cleaning, pick your kids up from soccer practice, then come back and play a little bit of FTL for now. I'm not gonna worry about the min-maxing, I'm just gonna worry about the slaughtering, the beaming, the... I don't know what this does to bio that kills them with the anti-bio beam, but... I'm just gonna beam them. Cause that's what I do. And they're dead. 21 scrap plus a firebomb. Now that's an interesting piece of technology. Cause the firebomb. <sighs> Breaching bomb one is better. We have a lot of stuff to sell admittedly. But the firebomb might be good to have in the long term, like if we have a fire beam, but we don't, we have an anti-bio beam. And the breaching bomb is better because it can just, it can take out the mid-bay and stop them from repairing it while this recharges, the fire, bo fire bomb can't. So I think we're gonna sell the fire bomb. It does take more power too, because uh, the breaching bomb mark, mark one is the, uh, the cheapo breaching bomb mark two version. Reactor for 15 scrap, I'll, I'll make that trade. Civilian result. Dude, you know. <sighs> Sultan Homeworlds. <laughs> I will do this. I will try to survive. I might even try to like get some burst laser action going here, but I want to get the super shield. And I also love when we don't fight Zoltans. Intruders on board. Hopefully you can understand that uh, that desire. So, interesting ship. What we're gonna do immediately is pull all of the enemies into my med bay. They also have no capability of hurting me. We can take our time. So, we don't need dodge chance right now. What we need is for them to come to me, and then we will kill them. They might try to flee, actually. So you know what? I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna depower. And by depower, I mean I'm going to vent this room. Should help us to uh, kill the mantises before they can flee. I don't, I don't mind that we lose oxygen, it doesn't matter. But I wanna kill the mantises so they don't come back to life aboard the enemy ship. So that was good. Um, we'll take out their Piloting. We may not have hit the NG, but that's okay. Yo, turn on the oxygen. <laughs> we okay? We're okay. They are getting healed up, which is unfortunate. Shields are slightly down, but the bomb can't do anything else beyond that. Mantis is in there now. There we go. Now the man, I don't know what, I don't know why the NG 
was doing repairs in the piloting room. Maybe there was a fire, so he went in there to, to fix it faster. But now that the Mantis is repairing, they shouldn't be able to do anything because they're gonna die. All right, maybe they will get it repaired. I don't know. <laughs> Please don't. Even if they get into the med bay, that's not enough to save them. It was... It's like a... What the heck kind of a med bay do they have? It's like a... It's like a... a NG Medibot Dispersal Med Bay, you see that? I used a breaching missile for no reason, but I did get some valuable information out of it. They've got to have NG Medibot Dispersal, so it, this is going to be really hard to take them out. What we need to do... <laughs> let me see if I can plan this properly. We need to take out the room with the Mantis, then get the NG busy repairing something else while we charge up the next Antibio Beam, because we have to send in, I think, three. Why do they keep sending in the NG to do repairing? It must just be they prioritize piloting. But now that the Mantis is in the uh, engines, we can make this work. They must prioritize piloting in some way. Like if the piloting is offline, any crew member available might go in there and try to get it repaired. Makes sense, I mean, you need piloting. So now, one more anti-bio beam should hopefully kill the Mantis, and maybe even the NG2. The reason why we didn't get the kill last time, I think, is because we missed two shots. Oh, I screwed it up. It wasn't ready to charge. We got one. We got one. That's enough. That's enough. Holy crap. <laughs> this is the longest fight. This is the this is the longest first two sectors I've ever had. We're 30 minutes into the run. What have we accomplished so far? Essentially nothing. <laughs> we have picked up a significant supply of free weapons, but holy lord. Okay, 78 scrap. What the heck are we going to upgrade? <laughs> Can we get dual laser halberd beam? Right now, yes. We can get dual laser, burst laser with one more weapon upgrade. But you know, I think it's more important to get the shields up. So we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. Oh, okay. Uh, rebel ship. I, wh what is this ship? I would like, I would like to make a complaint. I would also like to compare and contrast because this ship is garbage. The first ship that we fought nearly killed me. <laughs> this ship might not even be able to do any damage even if I had one bar of shields and two engine power. This ship is trash. <laughs> oh Lord. I'll take it though, I'll take it at this point. <laughs> I'll take the free scrap. Very glad I have this burst laser. Otherwise, I'd have to be using bombs to take it out. What a, what a weird run. <laughs> I say that a lot, but a lot of the runs I've been having lately seem to have like a weird bit of uh, variance to them. More so than you would normally expect on an FTL run. 22 scrap and nothing else. Lots of stores. I would not mind going to a store quest nebula. So we'll do beacons, hit up the store, sell weapons, buy shields. We should have bought shields immediately. That was dumb. So here's the question. Do I change guns or do I just, just fire? With the, the burst laser. The Breaching Bomb might be able to take one of their weapons offline. I'm just gonna fire with a Burst Laser. I wanna hit their weapons hard and then I'll switch. Oh, cause they have a freaking Overcharger drone. Yeah, this is, this is probably the best way of doing it. In fact, this is probably a fight where we should just shoot them with the Burst Laser. 
You know what? You took two things offline that needed to be taken offline. You know what? I've changed my mind because I've looked. They have no med bay. With them not having a med bay and no overcharger drone right now, I think this is an opportunity where we might be able to do some crew killing. Although their weapon still scares me. Ah, oxygen went offline, which is not really that bad. Okay, bio beams online. We missed. Okay, we wait. No, we don't, we fire. You know, I don't mind taking something offline and we took something offline. Oh my God. I would love to land a shot though. That's, that's fine, Antibio Beam is still online. Got it. Okay, one crew member dead. It was an NG, which is good to take out. We're getting just barely enough dodges here, which is good. You know what, stay in this room. Give me a freaking, oh man, they freaking, they have, the, they have the super shield back online. I can't even break through their super shield now. <laughs> Um, okay, we're gonna breach. No. Why can't you just land? Why did, couldn't you take out the right weapon too? Oh, are you kidding me, get out of there. Okay, antibio beam's ready. We've done it! Murder him, murder them! We've done it, oh, thank God. <laughs> Upgrade the shields, dude. I should have done that before. We could have saved like four whole damage. Hell yeah. It's the Peace Envoy. Hear them out. Continue. Oh, hell yeah. Next sector. I don't even have to worry about it on this sector. How often does the shield overcharger drone recharge shields? Well, it recharges your super shield and it does it about the speed that it was happening there. Pegasus Halberd, Charge Ion. I'm gonna sell Firebomb. Hacking would be a very good way of disrupt disrupting enemy ships. It would mean that we can actually destroy these ships that we can't destroy because of the anti-bio beam not landing. And we can use drone parts instead of missiles at times so it's probably worth getting. In order to buy it, we would sell probably the Halberd Beam. I'm gonna do it. I want a weapon. Well, it's not really a weapon, it's more of just a tool, but I'm on a tool. I don't even remember what this encounter was. Is, is it a Federation ship? Yeah, Federation outpost, anti-battery, uh, Rebel, Auto Scout. This might be one of those events where we get a crew member. If if it is, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. You can just go get healed up right now, honestly. Monsieur Seafish. Monsieur of the Seafish. There we go. Let's see what the ASB does first. Dude, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, they cloaked right when I fired. I was like, they have no dodge chance. This will be perfect. Nope. Good misses though, good misses. Good misses, good misses. You could just AFK and let the battery kill it. I could, but then I wouldn't get training on weapons, on my non-existent weapons personnel. Yes, thank you, <laughs> actually. All right, so we'll kill him. I want the credit, it's mine. Disposable account says dibs on crew member. Well, Taiyi, seven hole points repaired is very nice. All right, Dispo, Dispos, welcome aboard. You are now weapons. Fantastic, 43 scrap. You know what, let's get the piloting first, because we're gonna hit up this nebula, and I would love to get blue options. Oh, come on! 
This is my chance to get back in command's good graces. Hmm, well, it's also your chance to die. More power to you. Let's take out their weapons ASAP. In fact, this might be a situation to hack them, but we don't need to hack immediately. Mists, unfortunate. Their weapons fire so perfectly in line with the with the uh, pulsar. At least I took one of their weapons offline. Kill the crew member. Didn't get hit by that shot. That's incredible. We don't need the breach online. We should keep it powered up though to to take the ion damage. Dude, this is a. Uh, Actually great, okay. <laughs> uh, did we even take any damage there? I don't think we did. I'll, I'll accept that in a heartbeat, that was, that was great. You've stopped writing my name as disposable, sad face. Oh, I thought you wanted it to be like, I thought people wanted it to be, uh, you know, act as it's written as opposed to how I say it. Like sea fish, for instance, with the one. 